Hey everybody, it's Rachel here with Gardo Wigs. I'm just here to show you a few essentials that you'll need if you're going to be owning or purchasing a human hair wig. Um, to start out with, you're probably going to want to have some sort of wide tooth comb or ventilated brush that you can brush your wig out once it's um, washed and conditioned. And then you just, um, you know, you're going to want to part your wig and brush it smooth and flat. Um, you can hang it on a wig stand to dry. I like to put mine in front of a fan because it cuts drying time. Um, I don't blow dry my wigs because it tends to make them more poofy. Um, another thing that you'll want to have that's pretty essential is a cork head and a, a stand. Now if you invest in a good cork head, it's going to last you a really long time. It's going to make styling way easier. Um, a few other things you'll need is some T-pins to, to pin your wig down with. Um, and then this is, the, this is the type of stand that I like. I sell these on my site, and they are just a nice quality stand that can lock in place. Anything to make your job easier is something that you'll wanna <laughs> have. Um, the other things that you'll need are, if you're gonna wear your wig, wig longer and you like to have waves in it, I like the one and one fourth inch Hot Tools curling iron. Any quality curling iron is fine. If it's, my wigs are um, shoulder length, or shorter, I tend to use a one inch Hot Tools curling iron. And if you want to, um, and by curling iron, I mean a curling iron that has a handle, you're gonna get your, your wig much smoother than a wand because the heat will be evenly distributed on both sides of the hair and it smooths it. Um, if you like to wear your hair straight, then a flat iron is a must. I'm using the Paul Mitchell Neuro. Um, a few clips will be good. These are butterfly clips that I like because they hold a lot of hair. Um, a spray bottle is nice for when you want to smooth the top or even change the parting. Um, you can always run your wig underwater to change the parting, but I um, sometimes a water bottle is a little more convenient. And, uh, and then I have also um, a rat tail comb, or you can use any kind of comb, but a rat tail comb is nice for styling. Um, this is just one smoothing product that I like. It's called Frizz Dismiss Smooth Force by Redken. Um, I don't spray anything on my hair before I style it. I'm not, um, I, any type of smoothing product I use, I use after the wig is already styled and, and um, curled or flat ironed. All right, so these are just a few of the things that might be helpful for you as you are learning to work with your human hair wig. Thank you.